All right, it's time to get in some squats and a beautiful 13 minute AMRAP. Jason Kleepa here with NC Fit, and I wanted to bring you into one of my training sessions. I think a lot of times, you know, on social media, you could put up just the clips, but these longer format is a really nice way for you guys at home or wherever you're at to dive into the training mindset, some of the technical things that I'm thinking about. And what I was trying to do with this first one is bridge the gap between like a podcast and a workout video. Try and find a way where we're kind of, I'm answering some of the questions you guys sent me on Instagram, but I'm also just sharing insight as I'm going around. I'm talking about what I'm thinking about. I'm talking about the techniques on the squat. I'm diving into what I'm thinking about during the 13 minute uh, pull up, uh, back squat and burpee conditioning piece and just keep this low key. This isn't meant to be crazy. This is meant to you know, put on your laptop, put on your TV, go out in your garage, go out into the gym, and let's have a great experience together. So it's gonna start off the warm up. We're gonna use some strength work. I'll take you through it. And then after that, we get into our 13 minute uh, AMRAP. More strength and conditioning focus than our other NC Go workouts. But let's get started with the beautiful uh, five minute warm up. I'm gonna grab my timer. If you don't have a bike, okay, so we love these bikes. But if you don't have an assault bike, no problem. Just go ahead and just jog, jog in place, whatever it may be. I'm gonna take you guys through my warm up to get me ready for sets of eight on the back squat. Then once we get to the back squat, I'm gonna talk about the techniques and I'm just gonna do it with you guys. So let's have a great time. It's gonna start off the five minute warm up, five to 10 minute warm up. We're gonna begin with a couple of minutes on the bike. We're talking maybe two to three minutes on the bike, kind of get our blood flowing. So if you don't have a bike, jump on a rower. If you don't have a rower, just do some shuttle sprints. The idea is just get a little bit sweaty. We start in about 10 seconds. All we're looking for is to get on the bike uh, and get our body moving. Super stoked to have you guys with me here. Here we go, three, two, one. Now, if you're on the bike, if you're on the rower, whatever you're doing, right now you should be at maybe, you know, 50% effort, nothing crazy. And we'll ramp it up as we go. But the idea is just to get our heart rate a little bit elevated and to feel that, uh, you know, kind of body start to get moving. One of my favorite things about a warm up is I typically don't like to think about how I feel until after the warm up. So let's just say you come into the gym, you're feeling a little bit beat up, you're a little tired. Through this warm up, you start to gain energy, you start to feel better, then you're gonna be better prepared for your workout. So my recommendation is before you psych yourself out of getting into your workout, go ahead and do your warm up. And then after your warm up, based on how you feel, then determine if the workout is right for you that day. All right, about one minute in. This next minute, just kind of ramp it up a little bit. So if you've been hovering around, I don't know, 55, 60 RPMs, try and just keep a little over 60 now. If you're rowing, you know, maybe you're like at a two minute pace, 150 minute pace. And if you're jogging, you should be at like a, I don't know, eight minute mile, nine minute mile, nothing crazy. Ninety seconds in, while I'm on the bike, kind of feeling what's tight on my body, shifting around. Yes, I did a lot of pull-ups. Today I'm doing a lot of pull-ups, so my lats are a little bit tight. All right. Let's. Go ahead and jump off. All right, so we got two minutes on there. Let's go ahead and get off. We know today we're gonna be really working the lower body, okay? So I wanna open up my hips, one up my ankles, we're gonna get back on the bike. Don't worry. We're also gonna be doing some pull-ups, so we wanna get that lat going, and some burpees, a little bit of chest, a little bit of full body. So from here, one of my favorite things to do, kinda just walk it out. So I touch my toes, walk out, I'll perform a push-up, elbows staying in nice and strong, and I walk them back. What I'm really thinking about here is opening up my hamstrings. So if your hamstrings feel a little bit tight, as I hinge over, it's getting my body working that range of motion. There you go. I don't have a set number. I'm just kind of feeling it, seeing how I feel. If the push-up feels really hard for you, okay? Drop down your knees, no problem there. Feel the hamstrings start to open up. 
feel the low back start to open up, especially if you've been sitting today. Let's just do one more. Ah, all right. Now from this position, next thing I like to do, okay, is work through some what's, what they call like bootleggers. Now you can do these holding onto a, 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 a rig if you want. So what you can do is you can squat down, kind of open up your ankles a little bit. Now from here, I can push my knees back, drive my head through, open up that position. So I shift back and forth, opening up my ankles, feeling good, shift my hip back, feel my hamstrings open. We're just gonna do that for another you know, minute or so. Oh. You know, I hope you guys are having a hell of a week. It's been a good week. Life, business gets a little crazy, but when people are healthy, when you get a chance to work out like this, can't complain. Let's just do one more, shifting that knee forward, feeling good in your position, send that hip back. Should feel the hamstring start to open. Excellent. Okay, from here, we're gonna take our body back towards our mat. Um, and I just want to work through like some six part burpees, nice and smooth. This is something I like to do, just get my body prepared. So my first step is squatting down, second step, kick back, third step, down, four, five. And then if you want, go ahead and jump and clap overhead. We're just gonna take our body through that range of motion, nice and smooth. We will speed these up later, do not worry. <laughs> If you guys want to put on some music, go ahead and do so, right? I don't have any music. Kind of just doing this with you guys. Let's just do one more. Last one. All right, perfect. Now let's get back on the bike, back on the rower, back on running, whatever you want. And let's finish this up. For about another minute, let's go ahead and ramp this thing up. Ready, set, we'll start at 40, and let's go. So we're not going crazy again. We're just going a little bit faster than we did earlier. We're going for one minute. Let's try and get our heart rate elevated. I had a question. Let me finish this and I'll tell you what my question was. <laughs> Here we go. 40 seconds remaining. Last 20. All right, 10 seconds. Whew. feeling good. All right, I had a question come through Instagram and the question was, waffles or pancakes? And, uh, uh, I'm gonna say waffles. My wife recently has been buying these keto-friendly waffles that are actually really good, believe it or not. So, from here, I'm gonna go ahead and take some knee sleeves. For me, I like knee sleeves to keep my knees warm. Yeah, they give a little bit of extra support, but the biggest thing for me is to keep my knees warm. And I haven't squatted heavy in a while, so I wanted to kind of keep my knees nice and warm. Now, I'm not gonna go too crazy today. Some of you guys out there might go a little wild. I'm just gonna take it kind of easy. Uh, well, not easy, but I'll go a little bit harder during the workout. I'm gonna try and see if I can hit some good sets here. So I, uh, I put on my knee sleeves. If you have them, great. If you don't, that's fine too. I use some ones from Mark Bell. There's a bunch of different brands you could use. Um, this isn't a promotion for anybody in particular but it's just the overall style is, if you have knee sleeves, it does help. 
keeps that knee warm. So now that you're ready, let's go ahead and get ready to squat. We're looking for sets of eight. Now we know there's a high bar and a low bar back squat. Today, I'm gonna use a high bar. So a high bar position is here. So the bar is kind of up on your traps. You're creating this shelf. You could also take your thumbs, go around the bar, lower, place it lower on your back, which hinges your hip more. But today, I'm gonna use more of this upright position, focusing on keeping my torso nice and vertical. First thing I'm thinking about when I'm squatting is setting this rack a little bit lower than where my back squat starts at, so I don't have to really reach for it. But instead I have to get under it, I could uh, capture my breath, big breath, brace my belly, and then stand up out of that position. So that's the first step that I'm looking for, is you take your bar, as soon as my hands hit the bar, the reps start. One, two, one, two. Here, I walk into it, big breath, step back. So as you're doing this today, focus on three key things, okay? We're not gonna focus on everything. Weight in your, towards your heels, chest nice and tall, and work a range of motion. Sending your hip back. We're looking for sets of eight. I'm just warming up with the bar. Go ahead and get in your sets and feel comfortable with where you're at. So, oh yeah, oh yes, yeah, good, good, good. All right, let's do another set or so, just the bar. Again, something I tell myself is as soon as my hands hit the bar, the rep starts. That's the key for me. One, two, one, two. If you're finding that your position is a little bit off, okay, maybe decrease the range of motion, maybe widen out your stance, maybe open up your hips a little bit more. You can come sit down here, hold that bar to feel your hips start to open, your ankles start to open, get comfortable down there. But all the while, whoop, keep your low back nice and flat. All right, so we're looking for three working sets of eight today. Now, when we talk about working sets, what we're really talking about is something that's challenging for you. And it's all gonna be relative, but I'm gonna start with 135 pounds on the bar. I'm not wearing a belt or anything. I'm just trying to feel out the weight. And what we're looking for is three working sets. And so each person is gonna be at a different level. So if your max weight is gonna say, Let's just say you're gonna be at, I don't know, 150 pounds. Well, take your time. Let's warm up right. Let's get ready for a solid set of eight. Now, I know that I'm gonna be doing eight towards the end, so today I'm only gonna be doing maybe two or threes to get ready for that eight, to see how it feels. Right hand, left hand, right foot, left foot. and I walk it back in. So you might be wondering right now, why am I not doing eights, if that's what it's called for? There's no right or wrong answer here. It's just for me, I don't wanna get in that, that, that much volume. I wanna get in volume for sure, today's volume day, but I don't wanna get in that, that much, so I'll wait to hit my sets of eight until I think I'm getting closer towards my working sets, which are still a little ways away. I'm still warming up and priming my body. So for me, I'm now gonna bump it up a little bit. Find what that means for you. I'm putting 185 pounds on the bar. Nothing too crazy. Um, you know, my training has definitely been different since really competing for the CrossFit Games. I'm really focused on, you know, like later on today, I'm gonna go do some jujitsu. I'm really focused on using my fitness to help me outside the gym. And so I want to get in great workouts. I want to get sore, but I don't want to be wrecked. And that's what I'm taking you guys through right now. So let's do a double, let's do a, a triple. If you're feeling good, do eight. That's up to you. I'm not telling you you can or can't. I'm just not. Now, I don't know how well this microphone's picking me up, but you might be able to hear the way I'm breathing in. So I take a big breath, brace my belly down up, big breath, brace my belly down up, which is something that really helps me. All right, second question from 
uh, the um, Instagram is who is winning the CrossFit Games? Ah, that's a good question. Good, good question. Obviously, I think Matt Frazier is the favorite to win. That's pretty obvious. He's won four times in a row. Um, so I think he'd be probably the most likely favorite. But I think Noah Olsen, you know, he took second last year and he took second in the prelims. So I wouldn't count him out either. And you got some new hungry blood that's coming in as well. So we'll see what happens. But I, I definitely think obviously Matt Frazier is the favorite to win. Uh, but Noah taking second last year and looking really strong this year is, 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 uh, is exciting. Let's see what happens. All right, so you got in your sets. Hit another set of two to three. Let's get ready to rock and roll. You know, it's funny on social media, you could put up a lot of content that makes you look, you know, super fit or whatever, but this longer format stuff is really nice for me to do because I feel like I could actually share some information. And so when you're squatting, you know, focusing on driving your knees out like a corkscrew is what I'm thinking about. So as I go down, my knees are coming out. As I stand back up again, my knees are also flaring out. That's the big focus in addition to my three key points, weight towards the heels, really engage that post chain, keeping that chest up and working that full range of motion is really important. So I'm getting closer towards where I need to be for my eights. Again, it's not gonna be too, too heavy today, but it's gonna be something that's gonna be strong and challenging. I have 275 on the bar right now. Let's answer another question. Um, are we hiring? Um, yes, we're hiring. Um, front desk and a couple other positions. Go to nc.fit, shoot us an email. All right, let's get our set, two to three, feeling good. Oh boy, that got a little heavier than I thought. Ooh, all right. That was a big jump. Okay, so I'm gonna see, I'm gonna try a set of eight at 275. I'm gonna see how it feels this belt on. If I wanna wear one, I will. If I don't, I won't. It's not, for me, it's not that big of a deal. I found this belt sitting here at the gym. It's definitely not my right size. It's a little small for me, <laughs> but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it out and see how it feels. All right, when is the Bear Rilla Gi or Rash Guard going live? Dude, we gotta get that going. That sounds like a lot of fun. For those of you who aren't in the Jiu Jitsu world, um, a uh, Rash Guard is, uh, well, a lot of people, you guys all know what a Rash Guard is. So, all right, first working set. I'm gonna see how it feels with this belt on. If it feels like crap, I'm gonna take it off. I'm gonna go for eight. You guys go for eight. Find your working set if it's way more than 275. Hell yeah, but this is where I'm at for right now, and we'll see how it goes. Set of eight, baby. Set of eight. <laughs> well, that belt didn't work. I built, surely did not work. <laughs> oh man, Whew. this goes to show when you find a random belt laying around the gym, 
You might want to find one that fits you right. Woo. Oh, that was good. That was a good set. All right. That was a set of eight. Two, seven, five. Not where I want to be, but uh, I felt pretty heavy, so I'm going to stick there. All right. Here we go. Um, how do I create funds to start a gym? It's a good question. You know, for me, balancing family, fitness, and business has always been a struggle. It's always something I'm really focused on. There was a while where I was really focused on winning the CrossFit Games. That was a huge focus. That's not my focus right now. My focus right now is being the best husband and father I could be and, you know, keeping my fitness pretty good. Not allowing fitness to inhibit my ability outside, you know, for anything my kids want to do. And when it comes to opening a business or it comes to opening a gym, you gotta realize what you're getting yourself into. It's not all rainbows and unicorns. It takes a lot of work, it takes a lot of time, and it takes money. So I'd recommend starting small and working your way up. You know, start off in a garage gym, start adding value to some people, and then build from there. Start small, work your way up. When you take on, you know, the location I'm sitting in right now, you know, it's very, very, very expensive. And with that comes a lot of stress and you gotta work your way into it. Otherwise, it could be very overwhelming. So my recommendation is, if you wanna start a business, if you wanna start a gym, start small, add value, build up a clientele, and then take on some risk. Yes, you're gonna have risk regardless, but if you could do that in a calculated fashion, that's gonna be a good thing. <sighs> Let's see if this one stays on, huh? All right, another set of eight. You ready? I'm ready. Fuck it, let's go. We're already 20 minutes into this thing. We gotta get it going. Seven, eight, here we go. All right, another one from Instagram. Um, mindset, getting past the mental wall. You know, I think the key is understanding the bigger vision of the why. You know, why am I in here today squatting? Why am I gonna push myself on a workout right now? And at a highly extreme level, that goes to the CrossFit Games, right? You gotta really know why you're doing what you're doing. Because if your purpose and your why isn't there, when the pain hits, and the pain will hit, especially at like doing anything you know, of meaning to you, you gotta know why you were there in the first place and then be able to push past it. And that goes for anything, that goes for business too. You know, for those of you that want to start a business or whatnot, it gets shitty. And when it gets shitty, if you don't have um, a strong, you know, foundation of the why, it's really easy to quit. And I've seen it before in competition. I've also seen it in business where you got to know a deep, strong internal why of why you're doing it. And that's how you get past the, the mindset piece. Oh, boy. Speaking of which, no better way to talk about mindset than to be in the middle of three sets of heavy eights by yourself. In this case, I'm in our gym, but you're in your garage, you're somewhere, and you're all by yourself too. So let's get ready for our third set. You and me, I'm pretty fired up for this one, I think. And then we're gonna have a hell of a, it's almost like a bodybuilding type of workout actually. It's gonna be good. All right, 
Here we go. Last sit, best sit. Last sit, best sit. I don't know how many times I've told myself that. This belt isn't doing much today, but I'll still wear it. It's been a little while since I squatted this type of volume, so I'm just trying to give my low back a little extra support. All right, last set of eight. I recommend if you're doing this alone, put on some Eminem or put on some hip hop or put on whatever gets you fired up, some Drake, because this is going to be a good set. Let's go. Five, six, seven, eight. Come on. Five. Six, seven, eight. Six. Come on. Seven. There we go. Woo! Oh, that was good. That was a good set. Whew. Really good set. All right. Let's switch it up. You guys set your bar to a weight that if you had to, you know, you could do, I don't know, 30, 40 reps in a row unbroken. That's the, we're gonna drop the weight down pretty significantly. So here's the workout. One pull up, okay? If you can't do a pull up, that's okay, right? If you can't do a pull up, do a jumping pull up. I'm gonna show you what that is right now. Let me adjust this a little bit. There you go. So, if you can't do a pull up, all right, you can do a jumping pull up where basically you find a low bar like this, okay? Obviously, don't have your regular bar on it. You dip down, jump up. That's a option for today. Or take some rings, okay, and perform a ring row. So, lay your feet out forward, pull back, and make it strict. Yeah, work hard at it. It's all good. But the, the idea is, Make it as strict as possible because that's gonna be the most similar to what we're trying to work here today with the traditional pull-up, okay? Oh, whoops. Let me spin my light around. All right, so here's what you got in store for us, all right? So we begin with one pull-up, two back squats. From there, we have three burpees. One, two, three, two, then it goes two, four, six. Three, six, nine. And then uh, what? Four, eight, uh, 12? <laughs> yeah, right? I'm gonna have to do my math as I keep going, okay? So let's do this together. We have one pull up, two back squats, three burpees. I'll walk you through that. We're gonna do an AMRAP. It's gonna be for 13 minutes, which means you're gonna fight against the clock. Ooh, my hamstrings are cramping a little bit which means you're gonna fight against the clock for 13 minutes, that's the goal, okay? So for 13 minutes, all we're focused on, put on your favorite music, vibe with me, you're looking for strict pull-ups, back squats, and then we got uh, everybody's favorite, the burpee. We start in 10 seconds. Let's have some fun. The one pull-up's gonna be the best part. <laughs> okay. Pulling my elbows back and down is the goal. Two back squats. Oh yeah. Feel the weight. Should be a lot easier than it was. Three burpees. 